In this video, we will install Open Clinica 3.12 on a laptop. This is just for testing Open Clinica and should not be considered as instructions for a production environment. Let's first collect all the files necessary for the installation. We need the Java Developers Kit or JDK 7 Update 79. We need Tomcat 7 and for this installation we use 7.70. Then we need a database for our study data and that will be Postgres 9.5 and of course we need the zip file with OpenClinica which we get from openclinica.com. Our installation will consist of five steps. First we install Java, then we install Tomcat which runs on Java. We will configure Tomcat a bit to make it run smoothly. And as a third step, we will install the database engine. Once that is in place, we can create a user and an empty database for OpenClinica. Our fifth and last step will be to install the application OpenClinica. OK, let's start with installing Java, the JDK. We can take each and every default of the installation. Your installation might take a little bit longer to run because we compress the video somewhat. Just press pause and resume whenever your installation has finished. Straight on to step two, installing Tomcat. When we do this, there will be three points where we will change the defaults or enter something. Here's one. We must create a user plus password that can start and stop our applications such as OpenClinica. Now, because this is just a laptop, make life easy and call your user Tomcat and give her the password Tomcat. When we define where the Java runtime engine is located, we must make sure that Tomcat looks in the directory of the JDK we just installed. In my case, this is JDK 1.7.0.79 and of that folder, the folder called JRE for Java Runtime Engine. Our third and last stop is when we define the folder in which to install Tomcat and we will choose for this Drive D and folder Tomcat. At the end of the installation, we can start Tomcat right away. But as a next step, we would like to configure Tomcat to make it optimal for OpenClinica. And we do this by using the newly installed application Configure Tomcat. Now this application has several tabs and on the first tab we can stop Tomcat if it is running. Then we go to the tab labeled Java and first we enter three parameters. Two for regional settings and one for a special kind of memory. After that, we set the initial memory and the maximum memory Tomcat can use. To start with, we advise you these settings, but you can fine tune them later. Now, go back to the first tab labeled General and start Tomcat. To verify that the installation was successful, we open a browser and enter as a URL localhost port 8080. Click on the button Manager app to view which applications are running. So that was step two, and as the next step, we will install the database engine PostgreSQL. Again, we take all the defaults, and the only thing we must write down is the Postgres password. Forget about Stack Builder, we don't need that. We are now ready for our fourth step, which is creating a database user or role for OpenClinica plus an empty database. To do this, two scripts have been included in the OpenClinica zip file. They are located in config, database, Postgres SQL, install. And they are called create DB and create role. Copy those two files to the folder with the other installation files. And while we're at it, let's copy the OpenClinica war file as well. This is located in the folder distribution. 
Now we must run the two SQL scripts and this we do with the program Postgres Admin or PG Admin. In your own PG Admin you will probably see just one server Postgres SQL 9.5 which you can open by clicking after you have given the password for user Postgres. Click on the database called Postgres. In the top bar you will see the icon for query get activated and you can click on that one. Now we switch to the SQL files we just copied from the OpenClinica zip and we take the content of the one called create role and copy and paste that into the query window and then hit the run icon. Do the same for create db. Okay, now we're here, let's give Postgres a bit more slack. Click on the server and go to Tools, Server Configuration and choose Postgres SQL Conf. Scroll down to the parameter called Effective Cache Size and double click on it. Change the value to 1 GB and click the checkbox to enable this setting. Click OK and save and close the configuration. Now right click on the server and choose Reload Configuration. And with this we finish our fourth step. Our last step is installing OpenClinica and this uh, is a two step process. The first step is to copy the OpenClinica war file into the Tomcat web apps folder. Now this may take some time because the war file is now being deployed which is sort of unzipping in combination with compiling. After some minutes this process stops and if we look in the list of applications we see OpenClinica is there but is not running. The reason that it does not run is that we must first point it to the correct database in combination with the correct database user account. Now this is our step two. Go back to the Tomcat web apps folder and you will see a folder called OpenClinica. In it is a folder webinf and in that folder is a folder classes. Open the file data info properties in your favorite text editor and go to line 14 and further down to supply all the details. Save the file and switch to your browser and again choose as URL localhost port 8080 manager HTML. Click on the start button of OpenClinica and wait another couple of minutes while the database is being built. Once it is ready, the page will return with the message that the application was started and now you can click on the link in the left column and you will see the OpenClinica login screen. Give as a username root and as a password 12345678 and change the password immediately. And that completes our last step. You have OpenClinica now running on your laptop.